creative welcome back to my channel so she was old and she was sitting on my wardrobe for a long time and i decided to make her new and beautiful again so i made something from 2021 and uh, you have clicked on the right video if you want to save and recycle your old clock welcome back to my channel or welcome so let's go ahead and draft out the pattern for this outfit so the first thing i want to do now is mark the shoulder so you want to go ahead and do this with me if you're making this outfit right now go ahead and mark your shoulder and from that point just mark one inch for the slope so i'll just go ahead and connect the one inch to the neckline like this and from that point i'll be marking my round armhole and um, there is a video on the screen showing you how to take your round armhole so i'll indicate the points after dividing it by two i'll indicate it here and i'll rule a straight line connecting the armhole to the slope now i just want to go ahead and rule the and horizontal line from that point so this is where the armhole will be sitting the next thing to do is mark the boss point always the next thing after you mark your armhole you take your boss point and my boss point is 10.5 inches place the tape on your shoulder and to your nipple point that is where your boss point is located i'll rule a line here to indicate that this is my boss point and the next point for me to take after the boss point of course is the waist point i'll go ahead and mark my waist point and that is 15 inches so you guys pardon my voice i am done with cold but i just told myself i have to still edit and um upload this video for you guys so that is why i am doing it with a bad voice so the next thing i'll do is mark my hip points and that is nine inches from my waist so you want to place your tape on your waist to your hip or you can go ahead and place it from your shoulder to your hip just do you girl the next thing to do is mark the middle points on the armhole and um, i'll go ahead and make a curve but before then i'll divide my round boss by four divided by four i'll mark that point and i'll add half an inch allowance so you can go ahead and add um the allowance you want if you want two inches one inches one and a half or half just go ahead and mark what you want and the next point is for me to divide my round um waist by four and also add half an inch allowance so i'll connect the boss to the armhole line and then i'll connect the boss to the waist now i'll go ahead and divide my round hip by four and then i'll mark that down and also connect the waist to the hip don't forget to add your half an inch allowance or whatever allowance inches of allowance you're using or inch of allowance you're using just mark that down and connect this to the waist now okay so i was supposed to mark out the length of this outfit but i forgot and now I'll just go ahead and mark this down because i'll be extending the line from the hip to the length what i have on my hip that is what i'll be marking on the base of this outfit so I'll just go ahead and connect this and that is it you guys i'll just adjust this all sharp edge i'll go ahead and curve them out and i'll cut this pattern out okay before i cut out the pattern i'll connect the armhole with a curve so if you don't have a curve ruler you can go ahead and use your free hand that will do now I'll cut out this pattern and then i'll be working on the neckline that's the front neckline and the back neckline and also the waist the front pattern for the skirt and the back pattern because you know this outfit is divided into two so yeah i'll mark the neck width the neck width for this outfit is 3.5 and the neck depth for the back is 1.5 inches so this neckline i'm marking right now is the back neckline so go ahead and mark out your back neckline if you want to make it one inch or you want it to be deeper than this so you just go ahead and go down if you want it to be more than 1.5 you can take two three inches just wherever you want just go ahead and do that 
now i'll be marking the front depth and the front depth for this outfit is six inches i'll go ahead and connect this to the neck width i'll be using both the straight and the curve ruler just as seen on the video Okay, so you guys, I decided to use a green marker for this so you um, know the difference that, okay, you know that this one is the front neckline and why the neckline on the red uh, marker is the back neckline. So now to completely um, get this outfit, I'll go ahead and place my tape from the waist point and go up by 2.5 inches. So place your tape on the waist and go up from there by 2.5 inches. And then I'll connect this to the side waistline. So you know this part I marked the 2.5 inches is the center front of the uh, front piece. So you place your tape, go up by 2.5 inches and then you connect this with a curve line or a straight, however you want to do it. You connect this to the side waistline just as seen on the video and then i'll go ahead and use my scissors to cut i get lost sometimes and i can't seem to find a light between the walls i built for myself right in so because my the top part is going to be squared and not have the shape i'll just go ahead and adjust this i'll cut out the unwanted part from the pattern and I'll go ahead and place my pattern on my fabric. You guys, this pattern is the front and the back pattern. I think it's already obvious because we worked on the um, back neckline and the front neckline. Once I was done with the pattern and I am sure it's going to work, um, I'll just go ahead and separate this outfit. So if you're just using the fabric for this and you're not doing a transformation, this is the time for you to fold your fabric into two and place your pattern and cuts. But then if you want to watch how I am able to, you know, place my pattern and cut each of this piece out, just keep watching and then follow along. If you're doing this right now, go along with me. Um, when I place the pattern to cut out the back, you go ahead and do that. When I do the front, just go ahead and follow what I am doing. So what I'm trying to do right now, because I'll still go ahead and use the zip from the old outfit to the new outfit. So I went ahead to zip this down so that when I cut out this or when I separate this fabric, it doesn't affect the zip because I need it for my new outfit. And also the hemline on this old outfit is coming into my new outfit so i'll make sure that whatever i do i go ahead and maintain the hemline on the old outfit when you're cutting out the back pattern you fold out the front um, waistline you know we created um the front waistline um, so that part is the front waistline. So you go ahead and fold that in and then place the pattern to cut out your back. So what I'll do now is hem this part. I'll go ahead and hem this part by half an inch and then I'm done with the back piece for this outfit. I'll go ahead and cut out the front um, for this outfit that's the front waistline for this outfit and um, remember to fold out the you know we folded it in when we we're cutting out the back so go ahead and fold it out because now you need it for your front so go ahead and fold this out and make sure you pin this to your fabric or whatever you're cutting out right now make sure you pin this so it doesn't move while you cut and yeah if you're not using the stretchy fabric for this project remember to add more sewing allowance but if you're using um a stretchy fabric like my mine is actually stretchy but not that stretchy this is the front this is how the front looks i'll just go ahead and hem the top part so i'll go ahead and place the pattern and cut out the back um for the top part i'll cut out the back but before then i'll cut out the neckline For my 
myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before now, so now for the front for the top part um, make sure you cut out the front neckline you know we created it on one pattern so after you cut out the back you cut out the front neckline now these are the piece i need for this outfit i have my two piece for the skirt part and then i have my two piece for the front the top part so i'll, so I'll go ahead and attach it um the piece together and then while i am attaching this i'll hem all side like i'll go ahead and hem all side i'm not using um, bias i'm not using there is i'm just gonna hem it by half an inch both on the front neckline on the back neckline on the waistline and um, on the front waistline and on the back waistline now um to make this outfit complete i need to cut out a small piece of fabric to be able to um gather the front together so i'll place my tape and find out how many inches the fabric needs to be and then these are the fabric i'll go ahead and sew them together and i'll flip it to the right side after i'm done sewing so this is it i'll flip it to the right the right side and um i'll use this um fabric to gather the top together and attach it to the front waistline and you guys that is it and also on the armhole i'll go ahead and hem that so if you're going to use a sleeves for this outfit this is the part where you go ahead and attach your sleeves to it but then as for me this is where i'll be stopping Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind. And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before. And now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright. Thinking about all the things we did tonight, what a time to be alive. Just you and I. things i will do differently next time and these are just on the top the down here the fit is okay the fit is perfect but then the problem i have right now is the top the top is short because i had lesser fabric i was working with lesser fabric um this was a transformation video and the fabric wasn't enough so that is why the, sh the top came out shorter so if you're doing this um, transformation make sure that the fabric you're working with or whatever you're using to achieve this make sure it is enough so the next time I make this outfit what I will do is make a longer top and at the back I'll be using elastic for the back so right now you can see it is not laying flat so when next time when I'm making this outfit I'll be using elastic to make it lay flat and then um, that's just it. That's the two things I'll do differently. But for the down, I love the feet. And also right now, I love the feet. It's just that when I raise my hand, this goes up and that is not comfortable. But you guys, I'll be uploading another video. Yes. And this is going to depend on how well you guys respond to this one. So if you guys respond well, I see comments, I see like, like I see your thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and upload another video. And um, I might be using the pattern I use for this one, um, God knows. I might use this pattern or I might create another pattern, but then I'll be working with enough fabric the next time I make this outfit. And that fabric is going to be stretchy. So I feel like using a stretchy fabric for this outfit is going to be the best outcome. I don't know if it's just maybe because of the pictures I've been seeing or mm, that's just. So if you're new on this channel, welcome. 
go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put on your notification bell thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it for the people that always engage me on the comment section below you guys i love you so much and for the people that are about to start doing the same i also love you too Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind. And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before. And now when I got you, it's all gonna be alright. Thinking about all the things we did tonight, what a time to be.